You're, you're watching The Brian Show. Now here's your host, Brian. Hey, it's your host, Brian. Thank you, announcer, computer voice. Uh, turn off the music now. Okay, thank you. Now today, this is my first uh, reaction video. So I hope you enjoy it. The reason I decided to do this was because uh, I was watching a video and I just started naturally reacting to it. So I thought, well, why not make a video about it? So this video that I saw came up in my feed. It was, uh, it's time I talk about this separating in the Philippines by TPL Bianca. Now, when I saw this, I was like, okay, a, a couple of weeks ago, I saw this guy's video. He said, our marriage is over video. And I, I was like, are those the people that came to the Philippines maybe like a year ago? I, I, they came up in my feed and I watched them and a couple of times. And one time I think they went to a nightclub on top of a building. And the other time they were moving into a house and they were setting up a YouTube studio in one of the rooms. It looked like for Bianca. Now, when I first saw that, I thought OnlyFans. That's what I thought. I don't know if she's in OnlyFans or, or anything like that, but that's what I thought. So now I learned that uh, from the husband that they're separating their, their marriages over and they're getting divorced in his last video. Now we have Bianca's version of the story or her reasons why of what's happening and why they're separating. So... Now I'm gonna get into the video here, and we're gonna we're gonna see the video. Now I encourage you to go to her channel, TPL Bianca, and watch the whole video. I'm only clipping a portion of it. I'm only cropping her partial of her video. So this is for critique and criticism purposes and fair use. So hopefully you enjoy my reaction and the, you enjoy the video. Let's hear from Bianca now. Of why is she is separating from her husband? Thank you for your patience uh, in waiting for this video. Um, you can probably guess it's not the easiest video to make, and especially because I am the type to not really talk about things like this so publicly. I usually like to just keep to myself, not really share like sadder aspects or just more emotional aspects of my life. But of course we've been sharing our lives for so long on the internet with you guys and and it's important to let you know so we can all like move past this and continue making vlogs and showing off our lives and with this video afterwards uh, we can get on with our lives get on with my life and continue making content okay so the, here we find out that the most important thing to her is not her marriage it's making content and showing off her lives her life <laughs> their lives but uh you know wow we've gotten a long way we've come a long way in societal norms i would say uh when the most important thing should be is uh, your marriage how about that not showing off your lives you may basically you're showing off your failure of a life because you've your marriage has failed and enjoying life so yeah um as many of you may or may not have noticed michael hasn't been in the vlogs lately and he's actually started a new channel which i'll make sure to link so you can go check it out um but we are in the process of getting a divorce in canada where we were married you have to be separated for a year before you can uh put in for a divorce, so we're doing that process right now. So we're doing the process of being separated for one year, so I guess they're treating that as a mere technicality. What they should be doing is uh, going to some kind of marriage counseling, or <laughs> maybe not a marriage counseling, but they should be working on their marriage, trying to stay together because, I mean, you, you got married, you took vows, I imagine, at your wedding to to stay together till death do you part but uh, apparently that doesn't matter and that, and that means nothing 
So we know she doesn't really stick to her word. So be careful, uh, you know, making any kind of a deal with this woman. Because, you know, a pledge is a solemn vow is a pledge. It's a promise. So if you're willing to break your marriage promise, I mean, what mar- what promise would you keep? That's what I'm asking. So we, we've been planning this for a while. Uh, we made it official in January. But we, it's kind of been like months of talking and like communicating and it just, it just, we realized that we were growing separately and so. Okay, this is what they always say when they are not telling you the real reason why, why they're getting divorced or they're separating. They're just saying they're, the, the, well, let's, let's continue. Eventually we just, we just had to, you know do what's what's best for the both of us they had to just do what's the best for the both of us which is code word for um i want to have bedroom fun with other people (laughs) um and and yeah I, i still adore him as a friend she still adores him as a friend but he's actually not your friend. He's actually your husband. So why don't you treat him as your husband, not as a friend? Okay, why don't you honor your marriage vows? You ever think about that? And um, <clears throat> whatever the problem is, I'm sure it could be worked out. I'm sure it's not that big of a deal. Um, but she's making a big deal about it. Well, it could be could be the husband. It could be the husband. We don't know. This could be all the husband's idea. We really don't know. And she's doing the best to put on a brave face. That does happen too. So I'm not going to totally, you know, say it's all her fault uh, because we, we really don't know. But we do know that there's an age gap between these people of 20 years. So um, nonetheless, they are married, so they should stick to their marriage vows. But uh The age gap makes me think that it's her idea to get divorced. And also, statistically, most women are the ones who initiate a divorce. That's just a statistical fact. So if I was betting, I would bet that the divorce is her idea, not the husband's. Um, There's no bad blood. There's there's no, like, drama. Um, And there's nothing super juicy. It's just... We grew apart, and that happens sometimes, especially when you start a new life, or like you know, not maybe not start a new life, but like our lives in Canada are much different than the lives we have here in the Philippines, and I think that can also play a part in why it wasn't working for us anymore. Basically, there, she's saying they grew apart when uh, the backstory on this couple is they moved from Canada to the Philippines to make a blog video blog on YouTube together. As far as I know, they've been working on this together all the time. And so I don't see how they could grow apart or they grew apart. You know, she says that's probably just her excuse or the, she's just not giving us the real reason they're breaking up. But um, uh, to say that they grew apart is, a bit odd because they're working in the same group together. They're living together. Um, they're making videos together, making content together for over a year. And normally when somebody grows apart, it's because the husband is working at a business and the wife is at home all the time. And so they never really see each other, but that's not what's happening here. They're seeing each other all the time. So I don't see how they could really grow apart when they're together all the time, doing the same things, working on the same business of YouTube. Um, there could be a multitude of different reasons, but at the end of the day... There could be a multitude of different reasons, which means there is a real reason, but she's not. She's just not telling us what it is. Either that or the whole thing is fake. They're not really getting divorced. Some people have hey, said that. It just, it just wasn't working for us. Um, and that, that's sometimes, sometimes the best option is to, is to let it end. 
Sometimes the best option, I mean, was he beating you, you know, senselessly? I don't see any bruises. I mean, was, were, was he just mistreating you? You know, I don't think so. So the best option is actually to stay together. <laughs> the best option is to honor your marriage vows and your commitment. Uh, unless something extremely, you know, troubling is happening that you're not telling us about, the best option is to stay together. The, de definitely. The, the worst option is to get the divorce. People usually only should turn to divorce if there is just something extremely horrible going on, then, then there's really no choice but to get divorced. You know, it's not always a happy conclusion or solution, but sometimes it's like the necessary thing to do. It's not ever really necessary. It's always something that could be avoided, but it's what people, it's what people choose to do because they want to have bedroom fun with other people basically. And the, um, they're not agreeing to an open marriage basically, <laughs> which they, I don't recommend either. So it is quite difficult for me to talk about this. It, it's not the, the, okay. She says it's difficult for her to talk about this, but I don't, she's not crying. She doesn't even look upset at all. She looks actually gleeful. <laughs> So it doesn't seem difficult for her to talk about this. It Maybe it's difficult for her to lie about or not tell the truth or not tell the real reason why she's getting divorced and to try to make a baloney excuse. <laughs> maybe that's what's difficult to talk about. It's Divorce difficult to make up an excuse. It's difficult because we have been talking about this for a long time and we've kind of come to terms with that. It's more of me sharing and talking about this in general to you guys. I, I'm not, you know, I don't like talking. She doesn't like talking about it because she knows that, you know, basically uh, people would look down on her. A lot of people, especially in the Philippines, would look down on a person who divorce, gets divorced because divorce is illegal. There's no divorce in the Philippines. Now, that's not true of everybody, but the majority of people would look down on you, her for getting divorced, especially if it was her decision. At first, I, okay, so I'm a very anxious person. I'm, I'm very introverted, actually, which is kind of ironic since I'm doing vlogs and everything. But when we first started, I was very shy and normally in the background. And as we vlogged and grown and did more things, I became more like a forefront person talking to the camera, talking to you. And part of the reason why I don't want to stop vlogging is because it helps push me out of that comfort zone. Of course, you know, you're you're in a little box. Okay, so basically she's saying she was with Michael because she was shy. And, you know, he, you know, married her and she was shy. But now <laughs> she's not shy anymore, So which means she can, she's more comfortable, you know, approaching other guys probably and that's or you know she's she wants more adventure you know either guys or girls or whatever you know she's not shy anymore so she wants more bedroom fun and the best way to get more comfortable with life and pushing anxiety out of the way is by like barreling straight through it so that's that's part of the reason why i'm still here and i'll still be vlogging uh, michael gave me the, the, the main channel, um, which I still don't think I deserve it. No, you don't deserve it. <laughs> I, I hope that I can one day really. She's basically telling on herself, she's telling us that she doesn't deserve it. She doesn't think she deserves it because she knows she doesn't deserve it because she's probably being bad. Feel the sh it's easier to just maintain this channel versus going out on my own to, to start a new one. So that's why I'm still here and Michael has started a new channel, which again, be sure to go check it out because it is good. I've watched some of the videos. She watched one of the videos. <laughs> I mean, if you are married to your husband and you probably wouldn't want to watch his videos, especially if you're getting a divorce because you have no interest in him. So, so yeah.
there, there's no bad blood between us or anything. We're still friends. We just noticed that we have been drifting apart. Um, you notice that you live together, you blog together, and you do everything together, but you've been drifting apart. <laughs> that means there's another guy that I probably like, and, you know, I've been already talking to him for a few weeks, and he's serious about me, so that's why I want a divorce. <laughs> life communicating and goals I guess or just different outlooks of what we want in life and she, he wants to stay married and she wants probably another guy that's younger maybe <laughs> probably we, we realized that we just weren't growing together on the same path um, and I think it's because so many doors opened so many new experience were had you want to have more experiences with more bedroom fun, with more different guys, basically, or girls. Maybe. And so, of course, with experience, you learn different things. You learn different things like about yourself. And I think that's part of the reason why we started to grow apart um, and not clicking the same way we clicked before, back in the day. Back when nobody was paying attention to you but Michael. You clicked with him because he was the only one paying attention to you. Now there's a lot more guys probably paying attention to you because you're online all the time. And I suspect, I had a suspicion when I first saw one of the videos when they were setting up their uh, YouTube studio or whatever, that it was actually maybe a... a I had OnlyFans. I, I was thinking OnlyFans. They were going to set up an OnlyFans for her, so... Maybe that's what's going on. I suspect. Uh, I, I still hope that you support both of us through our differing journeys and watch us come to our own different potentials. I look forward to, to learning more about myself and becoming more independent as well. I, I see myself back then before vlogging, but before I really got comfortable <clears throat> with the camera and I see myself now and how far I've come. And I, so I really, really want to explore that more and, and kind of reach more of my potential. Well, you want to explore more about blogging and your husband is a blogger and that's basically all he does for a living and what he does all the time. But you just basically don't want to explore blogging with your husband is what you're trying to say. And so I, I hope you'll... But you should. Why don't you just explore with your husband? Because, you know, the grass is not always greener on the other side of the fence once you get there. Be for me as well, because it will be a journey and it, it won't be perfect. Um, the first step is to probably get a better video schedule. Uh, I do hope to upload more. It's just, it's, it's, a, it's big shoes to fill. That's, that's how I see it. Basically, you know you can't do it and you're probably, maybe you won't even continue but maybe you will Thank be on you OnlyFans. The 25 million people who have watched our journey so far. And I really hope that both of us, even doing separate things, can continue to entertain and f hang out with you guys. I don't know. Uh, like, so, yeah, sorry. This is so... I'm not good at this at all. I really, like, like the anxiety I had to film this video was crazy i it's just it's hard okay it's so much easier to just walk around in a mall and be like hey guys today i'm gonna go buy some doritos or something like this is intense so i'm sorry that if this comes across really weird and and like awkward because that's how i am weird and awkward okay and that's why a lot of the content will probably be okay because i still will be doing cosplay there's still there's gonna be travel and philippines living but there's also to be. See, she's into cosplay. Cosplay, I've not seen on her channel, but so she must be doing that somewhere else, maybe on OnlyFans. I don't know. I'm just guessing. She's gonna include cosplay and, and just weird stuff. Dungeons. Cosplay, weird and stuff. Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. You're leaving your husband so you can do cosplay, weird stuff, and Dungeons and Dragons. And you expect us to think you're a good person? I don't. 
I, that right there tells me you, you, there's something wrong with you. There's you're not right. There's, you're not right. You should go back to your husband. You should do the right thing. Go hu- go back to your husband. I'm not even gonna watch the rest of this because it's so ridiculous. And um, I'll go back to this and we'll just end it there. So go watch her whole video if you want to see the end. But uh, obviously you can tell this person is um, not something you want to be dealing with. I wouldn't. Okay, thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time. You're, you're watching The Brian Show.